Hi, this is Nance from Quest for a Farm. We are going to be making some soft flour tortillas today. We're going to have some quesadillas for dinner. And um, I thought I would just make a big batch and store the rest in the freezer. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. Super, super easy. You only need four ingredients. The one is flour. So we are going to, for a single quantity, we're going to do two cups of flour. But I'm going to do a triple quantity. So I'm going to do six cups of flour. Assuming I don't have to go for the math flour up. No, I won't. I'm good. And I'll tell you now why we do six cups. So, six cups of flour. Let's go eight. Okay, so I'm going to make a quadruple quantity. So it's eight cups of flour. Then essentially eight pinches of salt so I just got some normal salt and sorry four pinches of salt not eight four so that's about the amount of salt I'm going to add in and then what we're going to need I'll tell you in a sec is two thirds of a cup of very warm water I always add my oil in first. So the oil we're going to need five tablespoons. Okay, four tablespoons make up a quarter cup. I don't know if you can see, I've got this really cool cup that's sort of staggered. So four tablespoons make up a quarter cup. So 16 tablespoons make up a full cup. So if we're multiplying that five by three uh, by four so we need 20 tablespoons so we need a full cup which is 16 tablespoons plus another quarter cup so a cup and a quarter to eight cups of flour of oil you can use lard or shortening or anything like that but a cup and a quarter Okay, I'm just using a normal, thank you, sunflower oil. You can use, of course, whatever you want, lard, shortening. So that's one cup. And a quarter. Okay, so we're going to give this a stir. And we're going to mix it until it's... And it like goes a little bit crumbly. <coughs> I forgot my spoon. Okay, so mix all that. Right, so that's it. And our last thing is let me just check my recipe. We need two thirds of a cup of warm water. So multiplying two by four, we need eight thirds of a cup of warm water, which gives us eight thirds of a cup, which gives us two cups and two thirds of warm water. Ooh, let me just put it here. So two cups and two thirds of, at least it must be warm. So I'll add my first two cups in and then I'll check out how kind of how my dough is looking and if I feel like it needs the last third then I'll add it in or my last two thirds as it were. Okay. Okay, so I've got my additional two thirds just sitting on the side here. And we're going to start mixing. Okay, and then it's time to get your clean, washed hands in and bring it all together. This is where you'll start knowing if you've added enough 
flour, if you've added enough water, if it's a little bit wet and sticky, which it shouldn't be, then all you do is you add a little bit more um, flour. If it's a little bit dry and it's not coming together like this, then add a little bit more water. It's not my favorite mixing bowl, okay. So you can see we've pretty much got it together. I haven't really kneaded it too hectically, but it's a nice non-sticky, relatively pliable dough. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna leave it nice and warm such as it is. And Cover it over with my tea towel, which I have here somewhere. And because the ambient temperature is relatively warm, I can just leave it on the counter. But you ideally want to leave it somewhere where it's not too cold. And that's going to sit anywhere from 10 minutes to 2 hours. So I'll see you in 10. Okay, 10 minutes is up. And our dough has rested so now basically what we're going to do is we are going to knead it a little bit so let's first flour our surface take our dough out and Okay, so now we've kneaded our dough some, sticking together all nicely. So now what I usually do with such a big batch is I make a really thick worm out of it. Roll it into a big log. Make sure your ends are nice and tidy. It's a relatively uniform thickness all along. And I just take this thing, I always keep it in my flour, and I'm going to divide it as best I can into the four little quantities. Just chop it in half. Okay, so <laughs> four of them or three of them can go back into my bowl. Then this one I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a work over again. And create another nice and even log. So one quantity of this is enough to make between eight and ten tortillas. If you want them really big, eight. If you want them a little smaller, ten, I suppose. If you want them child size, you could probably get away with twelve or fourteen or sixteen. It's up to you. So there you go. So now we're going to divide into. Oh, that was a very good division, was it? Okay, well, it is what it is. It's not an exact science. Into our eight little pieces. And I'll show you how. You roll them. So you're going to again get each one, give it a little bit of a work over. Okay, I don't have a taco press, so I do it. Well, I actually did order a taco press, but I probably because we're in South Africa failed to realize the difference between a taco press and a tortilla press. <laughs> so I ended up with my three massive hungry men in this house 
with a little press about that big. I swear it won't even make proper tacos. I was so disappointed. And I did get laughed at. So I have charged my sons with going out into the workshop and making me a press. So again, if they're homemade, they don't have to be perfect little circles like the store-bought ones are. Excuse my dishwasher thumping in the background. I don't know why it does that. I forgot to actually tell you, I'm home making the tortillas because my husband and I have decided to challenge ourselves this month. So for essentially the following four weeks to not buy any takeout. So there's number one. Let me show you what I do. So as I rolled, I just get this like parchment paper. I reuse it and I put a piece between each tortilla. So then we just roll the next one. So you can see they're not going to stick to each other. And so we go. So there are our tortillas separated and ready to go. I think I might actually do another eighth really quickly. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how two of them, I'm just going to wrap them up so that they don't lose any moisture and go all hard and crackly. Come on. With my plastic wrap. Actually. And here's my ball bag. So we just take each lump. And that will refrigerate beautifully until tomorrow. Okay. Two big balls ready for the fridge. Okay, I'm just going to do my next little lot. I really don't think you want to watch me do that. So. I will see you again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you again next time.